Welcome to another voice recording. And it is cold outside. I'm at, I'm at my house and I'm keeping warm. Last night, the electricity at my house, or power, went out at my house. So I didn't have electricity for the entire night. Uh, I think I was watching TV uh Around about about nine or ten or eleven o'clock at night, and the power went out, and I went to sleep. I just dozed off and fell to and fell asleep. And when I woke up, when I woke up, everything was everything was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. And I noticed the electricity went out. I looked at my alarm clock, my clock radio. And I didn't see the time on it, so that told so that told me that my electricity, the electricity in my house, went out. So um, I went to grab a flashlight. I used the lighting on my smartphone to see. So I went in. So I got out of the room that I was in and went into the kitchen and grabbed a flashlight. And after that, I grabbed a bottle of water. So you know, um, after that, I got I got into bed and I went to sleep. Turned the flashlight off. Went to sleep. And when I woke up, when I woke up, the power was back on. The sound of the the sound of all the all the um, devices, well, the TV and everything, the phones, just everything just popped back on. And I woke up. And I saw that the TV was on because I didn't turn the TV off because the power went out. So I turned the TV off and went back to bed. So this was this was like way through the night late night overnight and also this morning the power just went out it went out around about 8 a.m. it didn't stay out it didn't stay off for very long the electricity didn't stay off for very long it came back on i say about like about no, nah, I see. Well, not that long. I can't. It didn't stay off. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say this. It didn't stay out. The power didn't stay out for very long. It came back on. So right now, I got electricity. I got power in my house. And man, it was cold. It was freezing cold. I had to bury myself in blankets to keep warm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about you people, but I had to bury myself in blankets to keep warm. I mean, I had to, I took layers upon layers upon layers of blankets to put on the bed in the bedroom in one of the bedrooms of my house to keep warm. And underneath all these layers and layers and layers upon layers of blankets, I had a heated blanket. They had a plug. They had a plug-in um port on it. Plug one end up into the into the heated blanket and plug the other end up into a power outlet socket and took the dial switch and cranked it up to super hot. Well. Less warm, medium warm, extra hot. So I chose extra hot to warm myself up. I didn't burn up, actually. I was nice and warm. So, you know, that was my little problem that I just laid out to all of you. So there. All right. On to this voice recording. Okay. In this voice recording, I'm going to be reading a title on something that I found online. And it's titled, 
people I want to punch in the throat. And the title to this, the second title to this is Eight Ways to Say Fuck You. Okay, um, I'm going to be reading this. And after I get done reading this, I'm going to give my thoughts. And there is something that made me want to do this video or voice recording. This is going to be my last voice recording. Because, you know, I don't have a tripod. And that's why I was stumbling and fumbling it in the, in the um, previous videos on this channel. Yeah, um, someone said my videos are boring. And, and they told me to keep trying. And God bless you, sweetie. And your reading doesn't help. And this person just criticized me reading and talking in, in one of my videos and they didn't care about what these videos were all about. They just criticized me talking and reading in these videos. So I guess, you know, I guess this channel sucks to some people. I guess this channel isn't good enough. But, you know, they tell, they tell me to keep trying. And at the same time, they insult me and and say that my my videos are boring yeah you know i think i know what this is they're just saying that because they don't like what they're hearing in these videos me talking about how the united states is they don't like it so they just find something on these videos just to put me down in the comments so you know and that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this voice recording. Okay, let me get started on this. Okay, people I want to punch in the throat. Eight ways to say fuck you. I've noticed a real trend on the internet lately. The passive aggressive fuck you. We've, we've all been... A victim of it and I'm betting we've all dropped one or two of our own on a douchebag here or there I've rounded up some of my favorites but I know I missed a bunch so leave yours in the comments number one macetate macetate that's spelled n a m a-S-T-E. Macetate. Number one. I'm seeing this one crop up more and more. It's like the hemp crowd wants their own fuck you. They will cut you for not eating your placenta or using reusable toilet paper. And then at the end, they sign off with nacetate. Number two, just saying, this is the most absurd fuck you phrase out there. By adding these two words to the end of any sentence, it suddenly turned into a joke. It's meant to take any phrase, no matter how horrible, and turn it be gone. But you can't say your kids are disgusting and ugly just saying, or you're an idiot, just saying, and think that's okay. My standard response to this one will forever be, you shouldn't be allowed to leave your house, just saying. Number three, bless your heart. Only people with a Southern accent can get away with this one. When the rest of us say it, it sounds like your mom's a whore. Number four, smiley and slash or wrinkly face. I have been known to use the wrinkly face to express sarcasm. To me, that is the only way to show tone of voice until a sarcasm front is invented. I only use the sarcasm wrinkly face 
on people who I knew well and who understand my sense of humor. I would never say to a perfect stranger, you're a terrible mother, and yet it happens every single day. Number five, don't take this personally, but as opposed to not taking it personally, when you say Jen, don't take this personally, but let's just say I would never do it the way you did. You just told me I suck on so many different levels. You don't even have to time to educate. Number six, it's just my opinion. This one and it's just my humble opinion are two really good ones. There is nothing humble about your opinion. If you were humble, you would keep your asshole opinion to yourself. Number seven, whatever. This is the fuck you from the 13 year old crowd that has slowly worked its way into adult vocabulary too. It's always used when the speaker has run out of anything intelligent to say or realizes he is going to lose his argument. It used to be agree to disagree, but apparently that was too many words and it has since been shortened to the charming whatevs. Number eight, I'm not trying to offend you, but then just stop right there because I'm already offended. Nasotate. Okay, um, there's this woman. I don't, I'm not. I don't know if this is a woman or not, a woman and a, uh, or a girl or not. But she commented on one of my videos. She commented on one, saying it's boring. Then she commented on the other one, telling me, "Oh, uh, my reading doesn't help, and and I need to keep trying." On trying to make these videos better, make bit make better videos in in the future, and and she said this, God bless you, sweetie. And she, and she I think she said, oh, you can't read worth a flick, sweetie. You know, better yet, I think I have her comments in the inbox to my YouTube channel or YouTube account. So let me go and find this and read this. Okay, I'm in my inbox and I found two comments from C. Rye. It's C R A E. And it's from the video Why America Sucks. It will never get better. And her comment is simply this boring. And here's another one. From that same person, this time it's on the video, Eight Reasons Why Modern Americans Seem Soulless and Inhuman. And she says this, sweetie, practice, see, <coughs> excuse me. And she says this, sweetie, please practice your commentary a little more before posting. Your subject matter is worthwhile but your reading presentation doesn't do it justice. God bless you, though. Keep trying. Why do I need to practice my commentary before I post a video? Why do I need to do that? Because I got people who commented on, on, the, on one of the videos on this channel saying that, saying that my commentary is really good. So I guess this person, you know... Hear me talk and read. Hear me like stumbling and fumbling on my through my words. You know, it's just the fact that, you know, um, my mind isn't that great. You know, um, I didn't get enough sleep. So I think the, the real cure behind this is I need to get plenty of sleep. I need to be 100 percent in these videos. So, um. 
Okay, you're going to say my videos are boring. And you're going to tell me to, to practice my commentary a little bit more before I start posting the video. And you say my reading presentation doesn't do it justice. Meaning that my reading is really piss poor and bad. You know, I can read. It's just that, you know, I got a smartphone and I'm reading stuff on this smartphone and this, this smartphone is just jumping all over the place. So, you know, I prefer reading stuff on a Apple iPad mini than on a smartphone. So that's the problem right there. But, you know, I just can't talk to people like that. They're just going to ignore me, you know. And I went on to this person's YouTube channel. And, okay, this person going to tell me to practice my commentary a little bit more before posting a video and criticizing my reading as my reading presentation doesn't do it justice. Went on to this person's channel and saw that, saw some videos. Well, actually, I think, no, I take that back. This channel didn't have any videos on it. It just had like three subscribers and no videos on it. You know, you got these people on YouTube, these casual YouTube viewers of videos from YouTube channels. They come on and they watch a video and they criticize it. They criticize their videos. And they do, you know. I mean, this woman doesn't care about me having a having a learning disability. She doesn't care about me, you know, not getting enough sleep. You know, the learning disability, you know, I can overcome that, but I just need to get that eight hours of sleep, which I'm not getting. And, you know, and that's the problem right there. But if I say this to someone, they're not going to like they're not going to respond back. You know, I got stuff like this in the past. You know, I had people coming onto my channel and criticizing one of the videos on my channel. You know, <laughs> telling me, oh, you're, you're moving your camera all over the place. You're moving a smartphone camera all over the place. And I feel dizzy. What are you recording? And, I got, and then I got another person telling me how to make videos, how to make YouTube videos. You know, I, I get this all the time. It is nothing. It just basically, you know, people who just like to judge and criticize someone. And, you know, you click on to their to their YouTube accounts and they have no videos on it. Some have some videos on it and have little views and, and their channel have like less subscribers than me. <laughs> and I'm comparing my my. Okay, I'm comparing the subscriber count on my channel to the to the subscriber count to their channel. Yeah, the subscriber count. You know how many subscribers they have compared to how many subscribers do I, that I have on my channel, and I have more subscribers on my channel than them. They have about like three or sixteen or twenty four, <laughs> like. If you want to criticize the videos on someone's channel, do it with um with a with a YouTube channel with like I say like 15 point K subscribers and and 300 K views on your videos. If you have all of that, then you have the right to criticize how people talk in their in their videos on their YouTube channel but you if you have less subscribers and less viewers and less views on your YouTube channel then you have no business criticizing anybody you know um these religious people you know you know you know some of these religious people are dirty they they got a dark side Okay, this person going to tell me God bless you after they criticize 
my commentary in my reading presentation on the videos on my YouTube channel. <laughs> then in the previous video, they said that the video is boring. Boring. You know, I look at this and I'm saying to myself, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you're going to say something is boring. I mean, if, you, if you're such a religious person, if you believe in God, if you go to church every Sunday, okay, um, you'll, be a, you'll be a pure person who's, who's good inside, and you don't criticize anybody. And, and this person, C. Ray, or whatever her name is, she, I mean, she doesn't care about what the video is all about. All she cares about is my commentary and my reading presentation on the videos on this channel. And she tell me to keep practicing. <laughs> um, I'm over the practicing thing. You know, <laughs> I guess she think I'm a young buck. You know, I've been on YouTube for like, for five or six years now. <laughs> I've seen it all. I've seen it all. But, you know, I don't know. Um, You know, I don't give a fuck about what these people think. These people can go fuck themselves. You ain't good. You ain't good with God. You're not a good person. Yeah. Do me a favor. Release all that evilness out of you. And be one with God. You know, I'm tired of these, these religious people. You know, they use these phrases, you know, saying, God bless you. It's just a polite way to say, fuck you. And this person, c Rye, is just saying that just to... Just to put me down because she probably doesn't like what she what she heard in these videos. And she just plays it off as boring. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. I got a subscriber by the name of Dion the Islanders fan. And I took a look at his account. He's from the UK and he... And he's, cr and he's bashing some states here in the U.S. Okay, I found his comment. And, you know, in the inbox to my YouTube channel. My YouTube account or Google account. This is from Dion the Islanders fan. And he says this. California, Florida, Texas, and New York suck equally. But there's others that are worse IMO if I plan on moving to the USA. I'd rather live in Georgia, North Carolina, Ohio, Washington, Minnesota, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Virginia, Tennessee, and Michigan. So, you know, he wants to move to the US. So, you know, he's one of my subscribers. I guess he's subscribing to my channel because, you know, I guess he wants to see how it is in the U.S. So, you know, if he wants to live here, he can live here. And I guess um, he sent me a comment. He sent something to my to the inbox to my Google account or Gmail saying that tell me you don't mind if I share what you say to others. And I say, sure. I guess that's why I got these shitty people coming onto my channel and commenting. Hey, I'm just going to say this. If you don't like my videos, don't watch them and don't criticize them, okay? You know, if I see, if I watch a video on a YouTube channel from someone, I'm not going to criticize them. It's going to be, it's like this, you know, 
you know, I'm going to say, you can't say the words out of your mouth or anything. Um, I watched a video of someone who was severely disabled, so I don't know what kind of dis disability that they had. And I listened to them. They talked about food that has like chemicals and GMOs and unhealthy processed junk in the food. Yeah, the food here in the U.S. that's unhealthy, have a lot of unhealthy ingredients in them. And all I cared about is what that person was talking about. It was a girl. I didn't care about how she talked. But, you know, you got these these nobodies, these worthless people who aren't worth a dime, who, who isn't about nothing. Who, <laughs> who basically are so dirt poor, they don't have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. And they're going to come around and, and criticize and come down on people like me here on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. The hell with them. So, you know. And it's funny. These, these, all these, like. Yeah, these, all these these different terms that these religious people use by saying, by telling you, fuck you in eight ways if they don't like you. And I find this to be kind of funny. Yeah, I'm going to say this. You ain't good. You ain't shit. You ain't good. You ain't worth a shit. So there. So... That's all I got to say in this voice recording. Cheers. Yeah, after I post this, they're going to they're going to criticize me, so. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm not going to say anything in future videos about this. Yeah. <laughs>